Um, well, in year eight in Deep Term 2, we were looking at how to solder and different engineering principles in technology. So we were able to design a heli car and we used a wide range of materi um, materials and machines to construct heli cars. Um, in year seven, we had to create a downforce racer and we got to work in teams and we used a format called Gravit that we used to make 2D designs that then laser cut them and then we got to design them and put them together. I really liked when we were able to look at how the mill worked because for our base we had to look at how we had to mill the foam to get the overall shape of our car and I really liked watching how the mill cut it cut the foam and all the different ways that the mill works. Um, I liked that we got to work together in teams and problem solve and we got to create a car that we got to later take home and how we got to um, put together an engine and make it work and watch it. So when we first started our project we we kind of had a couple of workshops on just drawing our car in our books and getting a couple of design features and just learning about how different shapes could impact the aerodynamic of the car. So the next step from there was Tinkercad, which is a software that Year 8 use quite often to design 3D models of a wide range of things. We've used it in science, technology, um, just a wide range of subjects. And the next step after that was we used the mill and a foam block to cut out our cars. And if you look at the underside of some of our cars, you can still see the foam trapped around it. Um, that's because with the foam model, we vacuum sealed it with a vacuum sealer. And we couldn't always get out all the plastic because we had to cut the car out from underneath. And then we also had to solder our engine and the wires and we also hot glued the engine onto our car.